Hi everyone! Okay, yesterday's problem was we were working on the water bill at the Rogoyski house. Where are we using most of our water? The first time we tried the toilets, we looked into the toilets and we saw we do not use that much water flushing the toilets. Yesterday we looked at showers. So let's take a look. I have our data right over here. Our five family members, how many minutes they spend every day in the shower. And let's take a look. So Mr. R spends three minutes in the shower and at 2.1 gallons per minute with the shower head means 6.3 gallons of water. Six gallons of water every time he showers, which over three months is 567 gallons of water. Right? Mrs. R was eight minutes, which is about 17 gallons of water every time she showers, which over three months would be about 1,500. Let's jump down to Catherine, because she had the same numbers. And Michael, five minutes a day, comes to about 10 gallons of water, which is less than a thousand, just under a thousand. Now we come to this one, our big winner. Victoria, who's in the shower for 30 minutes. Holy cow, 63 gallons of water every time she showers. 63 gallons of water, which over 90 days is, yikes, 56, 5,700, 5,670 gallons of water. When you add all these up, we spend about an, less than an hour a day, all five people showering. I thought that was pretty accurate. That seemed, that seemed reasonable for a family of five, even though we have Victoria as the big winner there. The, uh, that's about 100 gallons of water. But over 90 days, that comes to 10,000 gallons. There's our water bill. Now, this number is kind of high, uh, which means this, these numbers must not be that accurate. I know I'm showering every day, and I'm pretty sure my wife is. These ones, I bet you, are not showering every single day. Now, if Victoria showers every other day, wow, she would save us with that about 2,800, 2,900 gallons of water. But here we see it. This is our big winner. We figured it out. I was hoping we wouldn't figure it out because I really wanted to look into the washing machine, hand washing, uh, washing dishes, the dishwasher. But we'll have to save those for another day. At the moment, we know where we're using most of our water. Okay, today, we got a package in the mail. You can see it out in the front stoop. We just opened it up. It is from Chewy.com. It is a package special for Bentley. It was dog food. We got, we got three bags in there. Uh, we got this one, a small breed. Uh, looks like lamb, grain-free. Also got a similar one that's just salmon. Tastes a little bit different for him. Ben, come check these out. Come here, man. And the big one, the main one we get is this, this ultra, uh, neutro, ultra, small breed uh, dog food. My question for today is, how long will this bag of dog food last? Bentley, how long will it take you to chow down on this whole bag? Come here, Ben. So, the first thing we got to take a look at is... In here. So, Catherine, come in here real quick. You'll see. Bentley weighs about 10 pounds, which means I'm supposed to feed him three quarters of a cup a day. Three quarters of a cup. All right. Piece of cake if it tells us how many cups are in here. So, let's take a look right here. And it does not. It does not tell us the volume of food that's in here. What it does tell us is that it's 15 pounds. Uh, which means we gotta do some math. They don't make this easy at all. Cool. So, so this is what we know. It's a 15 pound bag, and this guy is supposed to eat three quarters of a cup. This is one cup. And we have an open one that we're still using. What we need to know is how much does a cup weigh? So let's turn on our food scale over here. All right, Ben, you wanna get out of the way a little bit? We just top it off. So let's go with one cup. How much does one cup weigh? Let's see here. All right, one cup. You know what, we forgot to. Let's, let's take a look at how much this weighs. We don't wanna. All right, good. Now let's do one cup. So I wanted to make sure was that it wasn't counting how much the can weighs. That's about one cup right there. All right, let's see here. All right, let's just change the units here real quick. Okay, 3.7, 3.81, 3.79, it kinda, you know what, this is what we'll do. We'll take, take 
two of these out here. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get it to, it looks like it's not exactly, oh, 3.79, drop one. Oh, that's kind of funny. All right, we're going with 3.80, we're gonna say. We're gonna go right in the middle. Oops, put that in there. So we're gonna say 3.80 is about how much it weighs for a cup. So the first problem for everyone, if it's 3.8, 3.80, 3.8 ounces, how much, 3.8 ounces for one cup, how much does three quarters of a cup weigh? So what's three quarters of three and eight tenths? Uh, lots of ways to figure that out. You can divide it by four and you find out what a quarter is and you need three of those quarters. Uh, you could take the fraction three fourths and multiply it times it, three fourths of, um, and we need to figure out what that is. We, we could do it decimal. If you take three quarters is uh, 75 hundredths. Just multiply 3.8 times 75 hundredths and see what you get. But figure out what that is. There's your fifth grade math problem. And for those of you that really want to take it to the next level, how many of those are in there? So now we have 15 pounds. So you know how much three quarters of a cup weighs. How many of those will divide into 15 pounds? What you need to know is that's 3.8 ounces, and this is 15 pounds, and there are 16 ounces in a pound. So just thinking about this, yikes, he's gonna eat several, oh, this should last, oh, how long will it last? Will it last a week, will it last a month? Will it last more than a month? Figure it out. We're going to get out.